You and I are going to talk about why James Worldwide, Citywide, Watson was suspended by Major League Fishing in the Bass Pro Tour today. We're going to talk what, about what happens next for him. Did he deserve this and why? But if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. So did Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour decide to change the narrative because everyone is talking about this boat crash that happened on the Harris chain by suspending James Worldwide or citywide, Watson today. If you missed the news, James was suspended for the rest of this year and next year. And really, it really does kick him out of Major League Fishing altogether. Now, maybe he can go fish the Invitationals or the, the, the Toyota Series, but I kind of feel like it's a done it's a done deal. Flip him over, he's done on this side. He uh, has been very vocal about his problems or his issues with Major League Fishing, but today they've suspended him. And the exact words are, James Watson was suspended for multiple violations of the standard outlined in the 2024 Major League Fishing Angler and League Participation Agreement and the 2024 Professional Bass Talent and Promotional Agreement. Now, what does that mean? If you are unaware of what happens at bass and what happens at major league fishing they really don't want you to talk crap about the organization it does hurt them off sponsors so the tackle warehouse tour is gone but don't worry ho -ho! have i got something for you it throws a lot of light at it to be honest this is the biggest thing that's happened to james watson in, in his career he has gotten more time and prep and YouTube searches and more everything because of what happened today than his whole career. And I'm not trying to throw shade at James. I just don't know. I just don't know if he really, now that he's out of Major League Fishing, if it really hurts Major League Fishing. That's the truth. As much as it might hurt some people's feelings, James has not been in contention of tournaments a majority of the time on BPT. Tens a year, no, four top tens. Barely year. surviving. Right. But and I, my whole career has been barely surviving. But you're And let's be honest, Boy Duckett has a lot of haters. He has a lot of haters. And as much as this night might not be the thing Pete, you might not want to hear, I don't have I don't have any issue with Boyd, though I might have a slight issue with what's going on for James, because I kind of do take his side on a little thing, a couple things. But for me, over the years, over the probably 20 years that I've known Boyd, he's always been very upfront, honest, and when I ask him a question, he usually replies to me almost in a fairly fast time. He and I have actually also spent time at one of the classics sitting outside and just talking fishing for 35 or 40 minutes and it was enlightening and like I said I know there's a lot of haters for Boyd but Boyd really is pretty damn smart but I understand there's a lot of people that dislike him because they put the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour on his shoulders. He is the face of Major League Fishing and Bass Pro Tour. As much as he might not like that he is one of the major owners so when there's something it when there's an issue it all falls back to Boyd. But let's talk about why this suspension happened. If you have not kept up with James, he has been extremely vocal on several podcasts. On Luke Duncan's podcast, Low Budget Live, I think it's called. Actually, I know it's called Low Budget Live now that I think about it. He's been very vocal on that. He was also vocal on a couple other podcasts where he expressed his frustration with what's been happening on Major League Fishing. Wow. I just, wow. You know, you, you nowadays... You just, you're just well better off. Just put your head down and yeah. go fishing. Yeah. yeah. The general public wants you to do that. But yeah. you guys know this. This is a business. Yeah. And his frustration with allegations of people cheating or things being thrown under the, the rug, there's a lot to it. But you do sign an agreement when you start or when you get into the Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour. You do sign an agreement that you're not going to trash the organization. And after that Luke Duncan podcast, Low Budget Live, I apologize, he was fined $10,000. And after this happened, he has been saying that he feels like he has been profiled. And because of the money he's made in the past with other workings in his real estate or whatever he's done beforehand, that they have assessed a larger than normal fine for him. I don't know if that's true or false. I will be honest, I think the Low Budget Live video, while I haven't watched the whole thing, I'm gonna put some clips from that in here. I think that was, the starting point of things going downhill for James. Again, Bass and BPT both do this. 
If you're upset with an organization, it's all right. It's how you handle that frustration that either can get you in more trouble or get you completely kicked out of the BPT. And while a lot of us agree and wanted day one coverage for the BPT, it should have been voiced on that first tournament, not the second tournament, because the first tournament you knew about it, but you weren't in contention or you weren't catching fish. But when you do start to catch fish, then you decide to be very vocal and say they should be covering day one. Well, a little hypocritical. You should have said that beforehand. That's just my take. When you're not catching fish, nothing's wrong. When you are catching fish for one of the very few times, then it's, it's a catastrophe and it's everything is breaking down the world is ending and then to make matters worse after that happens the hashtag fbd which everybody and their mother knew was f boy ducket good idea really that was marketing plan because you sold 80 hats at the classic and 30 online was it worth the 110 hats and the two thousand dollars you might have made really is it worth it we have to monetize and maximize all of our time on the water off the water yeah. and yeah. so on and so forth. And we got to make good business decisions. decisions. That's what it comes down to. And for everybody saying FBD is fishing boat docks, don't lie to the people. Everybody knows what it really meant. And there are a lot of people that are like, yes, this is wrong. I agree. Freedom of speech, say what you want. I've been, I've had a problem with it in the past, but own up to it. Just own up to it. You've sold hats and you sold shirts that have the exact logo of the ducket fishing, and you have hashtag FBD. I mean, there's stupid, and then there's really stupid. And if you think that there isn't any, there are gonna be repercussions for doing something so ignorant, you have to really be brain dead. And while there are a lot of people that are not gonna agree with this, and I'm not trying to take sides, but if you were to do that, at your company that you work for. Let's just say you work for Get Your Fish On. Unfortunately, it's just me, my wife, and Thomas. And you decide to write G-U-F-O. Had to look at it, I'm sorry. That's kind of funny though. But that's what you have on a hat. Do you honestly think that if you're part of my company, other than my wife and my son, that you are gonna last? I wanna stop you there. I'm only doing this one more year. Wow. Then you're done? I'm done. I mean, really, that's even more mor moronic. If you think you have the option of making me look like an idiot when you're the bigger idiot, you're not going to have a job. If he didn't realize that that hashtag was going to cost him getting kicked out of Major League Fishing and the BPT, then really we have put so much, then we have put so much into thinking James is smart that we are the real idiots because there's nothing to be said about it like it, dislike it, right to freedom of speech. I understand, I agree with it, but don't think you can do that and then work for the company that you're working for. And in this case, he's not on the elites. He's not fishing the opens. He is on Major League Fishing. What he has done is he's completely alienated the whole Major League Fishing tour. Will they let him back in two years? Sure, but, is, but, but really, are they gonna want him back? No. But where does James go from here? That's really an in-depth question. He doesn't fish major league fishing anymore. He doesn't. Not trying to be mean. James can't can't qualify for the leads. He just isn't a good enough angler. He doesn't know forward facing sonar well enough. He beats the banks. If he can't succeed on Major League Fishing, he isn't going to see succeed on the Opens or in the Elites. Now, he can go do the largest pot fishing tournament there is, and I hope he does well. He can go to MPFL. But where does that leave him with his sponsors? If nobody, if the sponsors now only think of him as, you want to know, if we don't do something for him, maybe he's going to put our name as hashtag F this sponsor. That's what happens. This industry is in extremely small, extremely. While it's a big, wide open group of anglers and people and industry people and organizations, the industry is much smaller than you think, much smaller. We all kind of know each other or we know one person that can get to another person to get the right answer. And while I agree that he should be able to say what he wants to, it was done in the wrong format. And being upset with the pot at on the podcast and the other stuff, and then creating the logo and the F FBD is just not using your brain. And he's used his brain to amass a lot of money. How that's happened and not be able to use his brain in fishing, I don't know. And I wish I wish citywide worldwide the best. I really do. But he wasn't successful on Major League Fishing. He was the bottom barrel. He wasn't making it next year. Major League Fishing isn't losing anything by getting rid of James Watson. Now, 
His sponsors need to really look at what's going on. I'm sorry to say that. His sponsors need to look what's going on. That is very important to him. But where does where can he promote his sponsors now other than his social media stuff, which he probably does really well. I really don't know what his social media stuff is. I've ne I don't follow him. I don't look at his stuff. I'm sorry. No offense. But where do his sponsors get some sort of significant click back to them? That's what I want to know. Because I really don't see going to MPFL that helping him promote the sponsors he has. And if I was one of his sponsors, I would have an FJW hat on because I wouldn't want to have that associated with my company or my organization. And that's what Major League Fishing did. They're tired of the people talking smack about him. So why not cut the fat? He isn't helping you. He isn't he really isn't helping you. And I met James years and years ago at one of the events, uh, one of the stage events. And he was a genuinely, ge really good, good, good dude. I mean, a really good dude. He was funny. He was open. But sometimes you need to, as I say, not say what's on your mind all the time. Because honestly, I want myself, just for me, I want to blast him right now. And I'm not, I'm holding back. And that's what you have to do sometimes as a professional. It's not always the right, the best op opportunity or the best thing to just say everything that you think of. It's something that you need to learn. Now, I'm not saying you need to learn it, but I do believe James needs to learn it. Now, where does he go from here? I don't know. I think MPFL is on his schedule, probably. Maybe some of these other tournaments. Can he fish the Opens? Yes. Will he do well in the Opens? No. I think this is a career ender for him. And... I'm very sorry for him. I feel bad for him. And there's a lot of people that feel bad and want to hate Boyd for this this thing. And I don't even know if Boyd ha had his, his hands in this. I mean, I would assume he would. But there, there was conduct unbecoming of an angler. So you tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you like this one. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.